Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Good morning. It's afternoon. Oh, morning. is it afternoon? It's at, technically it's twelve morning. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to do a quick update on the refrigerator in the trailer. We got a phone call that our trailer was done this morning. We brought it in a couple days ago, and we're like, okay, that was fast, but didn't think much about it. And so we drove up to pick it up, and we were all excited that we were going to get to do some work on it before the next trip. And then we got up. Um, they had somebody come out and explain to me that the refrigerator works just fine. That they turned it on for almost 16 hours and it was working it was great. cold, 40 degrees. I'm like, well, it's going to be. So then I <laughs> apparently got a little, I didn't yell or anything, but I, I was, it was just the frustration boiling through. And so Patty said I was kind of shaken. And, yeah. But, um. But, um, they finally realized that it's a issue that needs to be 48 hours into it on propane. So yeah, I, I, I reiterated that you gotta let it go at least 24, if not 48 hours. And apparently there was, they said they didn't know that. I know I communicated it. Yeah, they acted like that was something new that we had mentioned in. So, I know you sent it in the email and then you talked to them the other right. day. So anyway. So they're gonna, they, they I believe them. They, I, I kept saying, please, I, you know, and they said, we believe you. And, um, so, so I check it out. Yeah, yeah, he thinks he knows what it is. He said, um, as far as they've got things, they're going to now go back and recheck. They think there might be a leak, so they're going to check seals, things like that. I don't know. So but about um, it's getting too hot, and when yeah. it gets too hot, it's going to defrost a lot and go into that mode. So we'll see. We'll see. I, I, the thing I will say is the reason I got so frustrated and upset, and I could literally feel my blood boiling. It it wasn't halots. It's over. 15 years of dealing with RV dealerships and repair shops to where they it just seems like in the past they they don't fix things they don't believe you right. um, and I will say they were very accommodating and nice again I don't know if it, <laughs> I wasn't yelling but I think they knew I was upset yeah, because I, it, again it was just the frustration of you know well and you mentioned we have YouTube footage of the temperatures right and we, we, I, I saw it um, if they need it and they said no we don't need it and we believe you finally you know they were talking and and so hopefully they'll, yeah. they'll so it again out. i'm not unhappy with them per se um i, I wish they would because now we're delayed a few more days of getting our trailer and so we're going to be pushing it to get it uh, ready, to go. To ready to go there was a few things i wanted to do um, we've been having an ant problem in the trailer the whole trip so i wanted to empty the complete i mean literally i want to rip everything out and then uh, fumigate the trailer per se mm -hmm. and clean it really good but yeah. i don't know that we have time to do that now um i get to go shopping for more command hooks which for me is like <laughs> -hoo, i love you command, hook. command hooks. so anyway just wanted to give you an update the uh recall work on the lights are obviously done and i think the usb port's been fixed yeah, but we're easy. still waiting on the um refrigerator i was so. kind of just hoping they just replaced it but. yeah so anyway We'll see. That's our update for today on the refrigerator. Yeah. So we're going to have a quick bite of lunch and then head home and put groceries away. Yay. Yeah, fun. Bye. Patty's finishing up some laundry, but Patty, where did we go after we did the whole trailer thing? Gander Mountain. Gander Mountain going out of business and we scored. scored. We both found Solomon running shoes. Get down here and see if you can see the lighting's not the best. Those are nice looking shoes. These were regular 130 bucks. Ended up getting them for 65. Um, same way with the men's version. And I had been eyeing these shoes out in Frisco mm -hmm. at full price. Yeah. So this was like a really good deal. And why do you love Solomon's? I like them because of the ankle support and they're lightweight and they're cool, meaning they wick. So um, I don't like a hot shoe. I don't like them heavy. And ever since my knee um, injury and my breaking my leg two winters in a row, I need something lightweight. Yeah. And I like the ankle support because what it does is around your ankle, there's all this cushion here. And it just hugs your foot. And I have good arch support down there because I don't have very good arches. And I'm particularly excited about these because I hate tying my shoelaces. And with these, I got mine. you just pull... And it'll come off and then to tighten it back up you just slide it back slide it you don't have to do any tying and so i'm really excited about those mm -hmm. just because i'm lazy when it comes to taking shoe strings <laughs> you don't like to tie all right thank you gander mountain for yeah. 
going, going out, out of business. business. <laughs> Do you want to go mail the prize package out to Susan? Should we go mail the package? Should we go mail the package? Should we go for a car ride and go to the post office? Yeah? Okay. Susan, your package is on the way. All right, Susan, we just dropped your package in the mail. They tell me you'll have it by Saturday, so enjoy that. Huckleberry coffee, candy, and more. Hey, go shopping. Sissy, can you go into Rural King with us? All right, we're going to Rural King. And Delaney gets to go with us. That's why we like Rural King. <laughs> but um, <laughs> when we travel, Delaney will not eat her hard food. So oh. we've been getting her canned food for the trip so that she eats. Yeah, like Merrick. Yep. So we're going to go in and stock up for the Maryland trip. Say Grammy's pot pie, cowboy cookout. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. You see the babies? babies? You see the babies? You, the babies? you like the baby chips? Yeah. We're looking at these over here. 